Hello everybody! Today is resin day again. <laughs> yeah, I needed to take a break for um, let's say two days and doing something because um, I started work on Monday, today is Sunday and on Friday evening I was really very very tired. A lot of new stuff and I was also very tired because I didn't sleep much so yeah I was not feeling good but I think I'm back in action. <laughs> um, I uploaded on Friday um, this plater. I'm not sure if you've seen it. I love this one. It has now meanwhile um, a food safe layer. I put a clear food safe layer um, on top um, from Resin Pro and I'm very very happy with this. So today I want to make the matching coasters. Um, I already put some of this drizzle in a little cup and I only want to slightly drizzle it at the side. Not much, just a little bit. And I'm gonna go with the same colors. I will introduce them to you during my video. Um, yeah, let me measure a little bit. I hope it doesn't take too much time. Um, I go with, um, for my outside, because it's quite a big um, way to cover, with 50 grams of this school bus. I think it should be roughly half a cup. If it's a little bit more, it's 52, it's also okay. Um, I go with the same for my sparkle white. Maybe, no, I go with more for my sparkle white. Um, let's say around about 70, so it's sorted. And I need some yellow alcohol ink. So I'm gonna go with 50 again. Like so. And then I need, um, I guess 20 grams will be fine. Yeah, I zero this again for my white. For um, the petals. So, 20 grams. Just take it aside. This is my packing bag. I also put it aside. Get my scale away. I cleaned my mold. And let me put some clear. I don't want to. Um, go to right to the top because um, at the end uh, once it's um, cured and dry oh this is not what I wanted to do sorry let me just take the resin off there I only wanted to get along the sides stupid me <laughs> Now I'm thinking, did I do it like this? I think so, yes. Just from up high, so it's covering a little bit. Like so. Not too much. I guess I will have quite a lot of clear left, but I can always use this for something else. So don't worry. Like I said, I don't want to fill um, my molds up to the top. I want to keep them a little bit thinner. This mold is um, one centimeter deep. 
So if I um, achieve something like 0 0.8 millimeters, uh, centimeters, sorry, not millimeters, then I will be happy. So. Scan that still a little bit more. Just to cover my mold, but not the end layer. So, there's a tiny bit of clear left. Maybe I need more later for my sparkle white. You never know. I just leave it like this for the moment. Um, yeah, I get my heat gun in a bit. And yeah, let's go with a little bit of the drizzle, by the way. Um, the drizzle is from the luxury um, collection from um, Colorberry. I like this a lot. And I'm just going a little bit not too much because the coasters are not as big as the plater. Just the side. I don't know if it stays there. I hope so. Just to have a little bit of a highlight there. And so it's a little bit matching also with my tray. Could be that later my um, colors will be pushing this out. I will see. But I just don't want it to be too dominant anyway i i guess i already mixed a lot maybe too much again <laughs> yeah this side is a little bit too much for my taste see if i can take a little bit out and just yeah. so And maybe I can go a little bit more downwards. Like so. Sorted. <laughs> yep. So I'm now going to mix my, um, my sparkling white and my yellow. This is the school bus yellow. It's a mica from Petra Youngblut. Um, it's an awesome yellow. It's really very beautiful. And I'm gonna go, yeah, maybe a tiny bit more like so. Close this. And my sparkle white. This will be like that. I guess this is enough. And I'm gonna mix this. Very good. Look at this awesome, awesome, awesome color. Yeah, I like these um, sort of um, lemonish colors. She has, um, Petra has also a Tropicana and a Tequila Sunrise. I love these fresh colors of her. They are so, so yummy. So, it's this mixed. And now my sparkle white. Like I said, could be that I need a little bit more. I will see. 
while I'm going. The sparkle white is also very, very awesome. It's very sparkly, like it's saying sparkle white. But um, I had another one before and I think this one is a lot better from her product range, color range, however you want to call it. So let me just start. Put my stick aside and I'm pinching my cup and I'm trying to get into the edges. From Vasa Apai, try not to have the string too, too um, big. Also something I had to learn and when you stop just do it slowly so not too much runs into your mold and you have a very thick side. Now there are some people that are rush 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 but I guess it's not good. So, like so, see? And the third one, yeah, it's been a lovely day today. So later on today, I'm gonna go for a longer walk. Really looking forward to it because yesterday, I stayed the whole time, the whole day inside because I was really not feeling good. And today it's going out time, enjoying the nature, the sun. By the way, my mold, I didn't say this, is the geode mold from Molden Shapes. And my center are the stone hard crystal inlayers, also from Molden Shapes. They're really very, very beautiful. I guess I will use my yellow up. I go one more round. Use every more, um, every coaster. Um, I hope you are not getting bored me taking the hard in layers, but I did my lemon and I thought I need to make matching coasters. So, yeah, let's wait and see what will happen. Hope they turn out beautiful. And like this, just a little bit, the rest of it. That's my yellow gun. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna get to the sparkle white. I just pour this um, onto my yellow. Hope I didn't make my cup too full. see hopefully and let this just gently stop the string and the last one So, 
And now I still have some um, clear left. I want to mix a little bit. Yeah, see that <laughs> it's going inside. It doesn't matter. Um, I want to use a little bit of the Marabou. It's the alcohol ink in lemon. I just give it a squeeze because it's a light color. Now I can I can clean up my stick for my sparkle white, I guess. Yeah. Hope I didn't put too much in there. Maybe a little bit more clear. See, always good that you keep some clear so you can always mix again. So let me start with my alcohol ink. Look at this yummy, yummy color. It's a beautiful yellow. Um, I have to admit, well, I, I only have the um, sun yellow or how is it called with pinata and you don't have this nice color I think when you want to have a really lemonish yellow but it I know they have another one so I ordered this one and I will see how this will go now my sparkle white on top and clean my little cup Like so, and this one. Make sure you're not dribbling in there. I sometimes happens to me. That's why I'm saying this. <laughs> now learn from my mistakes and do it better. Looks very, very um, delicate, I think. I love this yellow, the school bus. It's beautiful. I'm also pushing a little bit back my drizzle, which is good. Um, yeah, for the sparkle white, I think. I can go with a little bit more. I mean, mixing a little bit more so it's really good that I mixed up a little bit more yeah this is it fun so let me clean my stick put some of my resin in here Some of the white. This is this will be enough. How far are we? Well, we are still not at the top, so I guess I will also mix a little bit more of the alcohol ink. So my resin will be really gone. Um, I mixed, um, I think, round about 400 grams, which I think it's enough when you don't want to um, pour this up to the top. Um, where's my alcohol ink? It's here. So, just a few drops. Mixing this. And 
put in a little bit more in there. I like it now how the drizzle is um, staying down, as you can see. This is wonderful. And I'm finishing off with my sparkle white. I guess these coasters are around about eight millimeter in thickness now. I guess there's two millimeter left. So this is brilliant. That's what I wanted. And yeah, let me clean my hands and let me get my, uh, how do you say, my air gun, my heat air pistol gun. I don't know how you call this. Hang on a sec. bubbles but I also try to um, yeah, get my yellow a little bit um, more mixing That's it for the moment and now I need to wait um, around about half an hour till I can um, mix my casting craft, my piñata white. Well, I can already mix it now. I, I just do it now, but before I can pipe my, my little petal around the hearts. So I get also a little bit this lemon effect, but I like it um, how the drizzle is only very below. I hope it stays like this. So I have 20 grams of resin, sorry for the coffee machine. And I go with five drops, one, two, three, four, five of the casting craft. They are rather small drops. I go with two drops of the Pinata Blanco Blanco. And I'm just mixing this already so I have my white paste. me for the moment. Um, we should see each other in around about half an hour when I can start piping. Okay, see you then. Bye. Hello back guys. So, um, let me get into my glove. Um, it's always difficult. Uh, no. I am in. <laughs> Nowadays, the quality of the gloves are not like they used to be. Well, um, this is my pigment paste and I can feel it's already thickening. But it's not warm yet, which I'm surprised of because it has been sitting for an hour now since I stirred my resin. Um, let me just get this into the piping bag. I think my colors already blended wonderfully and I think this will be a very nice um, coaster set matching to my um, little tray. What I also want to do, 
but this is for my third lemon video or, or yellowy video because I don't have such a small inlay. Okay, now let me just get a scissor. Um, it's the matching um, napkin rings. So, yeah. I'm very curious how this is going to be. There won't be a, a, a crystal in there, but I want to make them yellowish lemon color. So, yeah, fingers crossed. How's my piping back today? It's behaving. So, this is still far too big. Just cutting this off. Let's cut her. Put this over there. And I'm cutting my hole into my bag. Not too big. Let's see. Oh, it could be a little bit bigger, I guess. Um, yeah. No, I don't have a baby wipe. Doesn't matter. Clean this up in a bit. So, there we go. Um, yeah. Let me just clean my mess up. And you can see my um, resin is not really dripping out. It's nice and thick. This is um, very important. You need to, to see for the right consistency, but every resin is different. So I just go like this. I got it with the um, tray and like this. And a little bit at the end, and a second row, and also here. Not sure if this makes sense what I'm doing, but this is the design I used for the tray, so I'm gonna do the same with my coasters. Like so, and one more time, like so. You can actually use the um, 3D flower technique for so many nice designs in your coasters. It doesn't necessarily always need to be a flower. my little lemons <laughs> and like so this is enough um, let me get a stick because I want to connect a little bit my um, yeah also get this inside a little bit more this together like here there's a little bit of the drizzle in there take it out oh there are more <laughs> so i could have left it never mind put these together these a little bit and then I'm going to take my heat gun. I'm just going to go around. What I like, I would certainly have the heart shaped um, crystal insert. I'm very sure about this. So, yeah. Push this a little bit down 
Ah, in the center I made a little design. I have no idea what will come out. I will see him. I just used the leftover. Like so. Not gonna blow too much. I should stop now. Like so. And what I'm gonna do, like I did with my um, little lemon tray, I just swirl the center here. So it's rather equivalent or the same like my tray. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, let me clean my hands. Let me take my gloves off and take you down for a close up. Really like these. They're really matching. This is good. Um, my petals or my little heart shaped um, pattern, I'm sure with spread you need to give it time and i like this in the center this little swirl <laughs> yeah over here it's looking like this and like i said it doesn't always need to necessarily be a flower so you see the crystal center with my sparkly white and yeah let me leave you for now and we see each other tomorrow for the unmolding. Okay, see you then. Bye. Hello everybody, welcome back. <laughs> unmolding time. And I'm unmolding this before I make my uh, heat resistant layer because um, I just don't want them to be up to the top. I only want to cover this little lip. So it will be very thin in layer. So let me take them out. I'm very curious, to be honest. They pop out very, very easy, as you can see. It's like they are falling out. Awesome modes. Very awesome modes. And the last one. Whoops. In my center, it's only because I had the leftover, so I just poured it in. It doesn't look like anything on the back side, but I think the front side, it, it looks nice somehow. Something to consider in future. <laughs> anyway, let me take this side and get my hearts out of the mold. So, yeah, I have a little bit of an overflow here, but I guess it will be all right. Let me just try to find a start to, yeah, to take this off. You can easily tear um, the overflow off. It's only very, very thin, as you can maybe see. And yeah, let's have a look. There's a slip here, but this will be covered with my heat resistant layer later. But so far, I really like this. They're really nice and sparkly. Here's my heart. Yeah. They certainly match to my tray and I'm very happy about this. So, next one. You see how easy they pop out. Yeah, very, very nice. I like how um, the white um, blended with the um, yellow. 
it's very beautiful and the next one is in there also from very very good quality there's no um, tearing or whatever they're really beautiful yeah look at these also here you could even leave this as a little candle holder let me just take this off this little overflow just get rid of this oh this is my glove that makes a noise <laughs> yeah and the last one I really like this effect of um, the layers. They're a little bit different from the normal druzy effects. So yeah, it's beautiful. Um, I put this in the center just as a feature. <laughs> Don't know if it makes sense, but yeah. Let me take you down for a little close up so you can see what I've done. So here are my coasters. I have here underneath my little um, pattern. It's nothing special, but I thought, you know, in order to, um, yeah, to assemble my tray, it will be very nice. What I also like is these have a really, really great depth. And let me just turn one over so you can see the crystal effect from the other side. It's very, very nice. I really like them a lot. Um, yeah, let me focus. Um, I will take a nice picture at the end of the video, like I always do. And yeah, see you for my next video. And one of the next one was certainly one in these colors again, but the tiny uh, napkin holders. You will see. <laughs> Stay tuned. Bye bye.